Hey YouTube, it's on the Timepiece Guru back again with another video. Um, this video is gonna be different. I'm not gonna showcase my face, but uh, I'll be showcasing only the watch. I picked up this um, I picked up this tactic from another watch video I've seen on YouTube where he used a tripod to just focus on the watch. Um. I paid seventeen dollars for a tripod, not too expensive, but let's see what quality it brings to these videos. So today I'm I am wearing my um Seiko Presage uh, SRP B forty six. And this one I recently just got not too long ago, maybe a week max. I tend to keep all my watches in the case and bring them out only on special occasions. Uh, let me clean up the watch face. As you can see, the immaculate uh, sunray dial right there. This is a cocktail um, timepiece with a sunray dial. Um, they all talk different. Um, different uh cocktail um uh dials out there but i really like the sunray effect uh in the light how it just reflects the light so this watch is gonna be showcasing their uh 4 35 caliber movement with 21,600 vibrations per hour it's a rose gold if you can tell, it's a rose gold with a brown, genuine leather strap. Um, for a, for a watch at this price range, the strap is very good leather material. It does on the clasp showcase the Seiko logo again. This watch does have a few scratches. It is um own. I got this watch for about three fifteen on YouTube, um, but retailed at four twenty five as as a clear back to it. You can see it's a twenty a three jewel movement, and it's a owner um owner presage watch with only the 23 jewel movement i believe the new ones are 29 jewel movements and it showcases a, a date wheel at the three o'clock um has a nice um nice crown right there i like it because it's big enough to grip but it doesn't diminish any looks of the watch and this is an automatic watch. Of course, you can uh, shake it, put on, uh, w uh, put on one of those um, wheels that you buy off Amazon for about like $50. Those winding wheels. <laughs> uh, or you can just, uh, you can wind it manually. It's very, very smooth. Uh, you pull out once, brings you into the um date wheel you bring out twice and as a hacking movement it actually stops at the um, stops a second hand which gives you really good um really good uh, um really good setting the time I, I has a 41 hour power reserve and it is a 5 bar water resistant or 50 meters or 165 feet. It's a 40.5 uh, case diameter um, with a screw down case back design. Um, and uh, I think that's about it. I don't know if I forgot any information, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, 
or one pick one up i'll leave the link down in the description and i'll see you guys in the next video